Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go ahead and do my weekly check-in for the third week of March. I'll be checking in from the 15th to the 21st. I think we're currently on the 24th. So I'm going to go ahead and reflect everything that happened last week and all my spending habits. Um, yeah, <laughs> last week I basically spent a lot of money like on groceries and stuff so today we're gonna figure out how much like i think i'm only working with these two here at the moment just because um um i only spent for groceries and i substituted some of my spending money to buy groceries or food so that's how i'm gonna um, put this all out here so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do my grocery my grocery budget i bought everything in one go i gave myself a budget of 150 and i spent it all in one day on the 15th um we went to el superior and we ended up trying to get anything that we could and i ended up um grabbing a little bit more than that i think i i took out a dollar 55 from my spending money to substitute the remaining money i needed for groceries so i in total in groceries i did spend 151.55 on that day then when we move along to my um on spending money i did go to mcdonald's on the 19th right over here and just to note i did pay this bill and i ended up did paying that so that's that then on the 16th my sister came over it's a raining day and then um she took me to um grocery stores to buy anything that i was missing basically any like treats that i wanted mainly um <laughs> oreos i've been in an oreo kick lately and i don't know why um we ended up going to panera as well just because i was hungry and all i wanted was soup i literally that's all i wanted and then right after we ended up going to starbucks so that was a thing wow that one got full really quickly we also ended up going to an to an asian market and we i ended up getting like fire noodles which is what i wanted so that's all in one day and um we did go to target and we got a, a little stuff here and there so that is everything that happened it was basically a lot of groceries and a lot of food that happened so all of that consisted of a bunch of nonsense then on the 18th i believe um, I ended up getting Jack with Bay. And that day I also went to um, Kaiser. Uh, I ended up paying a co-payment to see a doctor for my strained arm. And um, I bought medication for it, the prescription that they prescribed, and that was $10. So that is that. And then everything else was a no spend just because we have been um home in self-isolation so we haven't actually been going out so i did a no spend on friday and a no spend on sun i mean friday and saturday so that is how that went so my week basically just consisted of buying groceries and eating out and going to a doctor's visit so that's how my week went a lot of personal spending that i've been supplementing for groceries and this is not normal this is just why with everything happening there is more grocery buying than anything so now that i have that done i'm gonna go ahead and place everything over here so for groceries i did end up spending the 150 that was in that category so i'm gonna go ahead and put 150 and of course, I'm carrying the negative balance over, and that's 5176. For everyone asking where this money's come, I do have a cushion in my bank account, which is where this money is coming from. Next, I do have um, gasoline. I didn't spend any gasoline. Maybe this week I will. So I didn't actually spend. I'm not traveling. I'm just going to a doctor's visit, and that's it. So I still have $40 in that cash envelope. For personal spending, that's where a lot of this comes in. So let me go ahead and grab my calculator. Okay, so the first thing is $1.55 from Superior. Then we have the $8.75 from Starbucks. 
then we have Panera, then we have CVS, then we have Target, then we have um, Ranch Market, we have Jack in the Box, which basically, I'm allergic to Jack in the Box and I don't know why I keep going, and then we have McDonald's. And that is it. So in total, I spent eighty-seven seventy-seven. Let me see. Eighty-seven. No, eighty-seven seventy. And I had a hundred dollars. I was negative eleven twenty that came from those one hundred dollars, and then I ended up spending eighty-seven seventy, which means I have a dollar ten left in that. Um, cash envelope for unbudgeted I didn't have anything unbudgeted but I am negative three dollars and thirty cents from the time I went to the post office that is also taken care by my um, cushion so that is how my week actually went pretty clear and shut I've only gone out to get groceries or my doctors so that is how my week ended up being a lot of yellow but it's basically food or groceries that I'm supplementing for having such large expenses in my grocery budget. So yeah. Oh, and last time I forgot to show you my cash envelope, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out for you so you guys can see. Um, spending, I'm supposed to have a dollar ten. I do have a dollar here. And then if you're wondering, these hundred dollars, these were a gift from my dad that I have not used yet. Don't ask me why, I just haven't used it and I don't count it because it was an income, it's just a gift that I don't track. So that's that. Gasoline, I'm supposed to have 40. I haven't pumped gas, I might pump today or tomorrow. So I have $40 in there, just as so. And then in my grocery budget, I have $0. I'm actually negative, which was taken care of by my cushion. So. Yep, that is how my cash envelopes are looking like. If you're wondering where these are from, these are from Romina Rosa. Uh, I don't think she currently has any in stock, but just track her Etsy shop and you'll probably get updates from her. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in any of my budget stickers, they are from Erica Life Vlogs on Etsy. The links will be down below. This is an Erin Condren 7x9 monthly deluxe planner in case you're wondering. My cover is from Kristen. So I'll link her Etsy shop um, below. She sells the graphic that you can upload onto the Erin Condren site to get your um, cover like that. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye you guys. Oh.